Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am on an envelope kick, I guess, because I can't stop making envelopes. But I wanted to show you these um, patchwork um, collage, I don't know what you would call them, envelopes that I have been making. I want to show you how to do them. So I'm using a combination of any scraps that I have scrapbook paper, vellum, deli paper, tissue paper, music paper, anything in the world. This is a great scrap buster idea. So what I'm doing is sewing some strips together. So I started this one and I decided to turn the camera on so that I can take you along with me um, and show you how I'm doing this. I'm using a dark brown thread. You could use any color you want to. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could glue these together. But this is coffee dyed paper. This is parchment. This is an acetate bag. Uh, you know, a little zipper, um, not a zipper bag, but you know what I'm talking about. A little acetate, this kind of thing right here. This little bag. You, I mean, you can get that in junk mail or whatever. I just decided to make a clear window. I thought that would be cool. This is a piece of a scrapbook album page, so it's kind of heavy, and it had this almost avocado dyed color to it I thought was cool. This is deli paper, so just anything in the world will work. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding strips. I'm fixing to add this one right here, and I'm going to stitch down here. Then I'm going to add this one right here. Doesn't matter if they're straight or crooked, does not matter. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this and this stitched on, so that left me a little space. So I'm going to find something. I was going to use that, but it has it actually is torn. I think I'm going to just use a little piece of um, sewing pattern paper there, which I realize is quite delicate, but I think I can make it work. Okay, now if you want to, you can keep going down here on this end, but just for the sake of being able to handle it, I think I'm just going to keep going here on this end. So what I need to do is I just need to add some long strips. Here's some tracing paper, and then I might add some more music paper. Okay, so I'm just going to keep building this. Okay, so this piece, I'm going to stop right there, and as you can see, I went a little crazy down here doing some extra stitching, and just did a little extra um, filling in some corners and stuff there. These are some of the other ones that I've done. Um, they're quick to do. Like I said, they use up a lot of scraps. And again, you can glue these if you do not have a sewing machine. Um, you can glue them together. You could even take a pin and make fake stitches. I think that came out too bright. Let's turn that down. Maybe that's better. Okay, so now we want to turn these into envelopes. Now, these that I made here, I use the envelope punch board. Um, because I like the way you never know what you're going to get. It always comes out kind of different. If you're going to use an envelope punch board, um, you'll need to cut these into a square. So, you know, we'll just go and cut them. If you don't have an envelope punch board, you can still make some really great envelopes with these, or tags, or cards, or whatever, just by cutting them into rectangles. So let me show you what that would look like. Okay, so what I've done is I just cut it into a rectangle. There's no right or wrong. There's no, you got to do this size or whatever. You can do any size you want to. And I'm kind of just leaving my threads, and I'm just kind of deciding which one I want to be the top, which one I want to be the bottom. I think I'm going to let this be the bottom half, and this is going to be my little envelope flap. And I'm just kind of being careful. And then all you got to do is glue these two down. Now you've got this cute little envelope. See how the back's going to look? Isn't that cute? And you could add more to it if you want to. All right, so now I'm going to cut these other ones into squares. But do you see what I'm talking about? If you do the envelope punch board, you get all these um, more of a diagonal 
line, which I could have cut this into a diagonal, but it would have wasted so much of it. You know, I would have had to cut it like this, and then I say waste. Now, I don't really waste the pieces that are left over. I turn those into snippets or snippet strips or collages or, you know, I use them in some way. But I'm just saying I didn't want to do that right now. I was trying to keep this simple in case you wanted to make some with me. Okay, so I'm going to cut the others into squares. Okay, so here's what I did. I cut it to a 10 by 10, but that was just going to make a really big envelope, and I really didn't want an envelope that big. I like the small ones. So what I did is I cut it to 6 by 6, and then I cut a 4 by 4 out of that, and I also had this piece left over, which I'm going to make a tag, and I also had this piece left over because I didn't want to cut it in the middle of that window. So I think I'm going to make a regular envelope out of this one, like we did that first one there. All right. But for these two, I'm going to go with the envelope punch board. And this is six by six, so I can punch that at two and five eighths. All right, which I've got marked on there because that's the size that I use a lot. So we punch and score. I can barely see that score. Punch. I'm trying to be careful because some of that paper is delicate and I don't want to poke a hole through it, which I've done so many times. Many times. Punch. Oh, it didn't want to go through those threads. And score. Yeah, see, I didn't like those little bitty threads up in there. Let's see if I can, oh, I still didn't cut it all the way out. There we go. All right, so all we have to do now, let's move you out of the way. We're going to fold this side in. It just makes the cutest envelopes, guys. These are just so darling. And like I said, it's a great scrap buster. And it's a wonderful junk journal embellishment. How cute is that? So I'm just having to be careful where I'm folding it because there's so much stitching. But once you've got it folded, you're good to go. And I may trim some of those threads off. And I may not because they're kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so see, I got a little work right there. I'm going to trim that off, of course. And then I usually, you don't have to, but I usually just cut that kind of flat right there. And then we're going to glue that down. And there's our little envelope. It may want to press that a little better. Let's go ahead and cut that off right there. All right, so I'm going to get some glue. I'm going to try not to put too much glue because some of this paper is so thin and I don't want it to do a whole lot of buckling, but my um, art glitter glue was getting kind of thick and it was an older bottle <laughs> and I put just a little bit of water in it to thin it down and I guess I put too much. I didn't mean to. Okay, so there is one little envelope. Now, I see a hole right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a there's a hole. Ta-da, see it? <laughs> so I'll just put another piece over that or a sticker or anything in the world. Okay, so 6x6 makes this cute little 3x4 envelope. A 4x4 four four size, which I wrote it on here because it didn't go down that small that a four by four if you score it at one and three fourths you can get a little tiny envelope and it sure you can see it's not punching really well because that it, it's like a paper punch you know if you just do it on a real thin paper it don't want to punch it needs something a little thicker to grab onto, but I shall make it work, hopefully, <laughs> famous last words, because see, all of this, this is coffee dyed, but this is deli, deli, and tracing, <clears throat> so all of this one is a little bit on the delicate side, so I'm going to, I could have put a piece of cardstock under there 
and punched the two together at one time so that it would have come out. So note to self, put some cardstock under there if you're punching nothing but deli because it's just a little bit too delicate. But it makes the cutest little envelopey. Envelopey. Okay, so we're going to fold this guy in. We're going to fold this guy in. And this one goes up. How precious is it? What is it about small things, tiny things? Anything tiny, miniature, is just so darn cute. I don't know why. There we go. Now here's our itty bitty envelope. And again, now these are for junk journals and embellishments and scrapbooks and greeting card inserts or whatever. But don't worry about it being just perfect. It ain't got to be exactly perfect. Isn't that so cute? So how much fun is that? I love, love, love. Okay, so let's put these two to the side. Now this guy with the window, I just thought that would be so cool to have one with a window in it. So let me see. This will be a total different size envelope. So I'm just going to fold it up. No envelope punch board needed on this one. And then we'll try to fold that down. Let's see if it will let me do that. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, that's so cute. I likey, likey. Now see, whatever you put inside, you'll be able to see through it. Isn't that cool? I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these two edges down right here and right here. And I could make a little notch there, but I don't know. I think I'll just leave it just like that. And I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave all the strings on there, too. And I'll probably round the corners, but seeing how that's deli paper, it's going to, I'll have to put some cardstock in there with it to make it punch. So if this was your envelope and you're going to put this tag inside, then let's turn it so you can see a colored side. You'd be able to see your tag through the window. See how they cute? It's so cute. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, it was just a simple tutorial. I'm going to go and put all the rest of these together, and I'll come back and show you. Before I finish, I want to show you one other thing. If you don't have an envelope punch board, you can still make these kind of envelopes to look like that. Let me show you how to do that. Um, fold corner to corner. Fold it down. And then on the side where your fold was, we're going to go the opposite direction. But I'm not going to fold the whole thing. I'm just making a little bump right there, a little dent, so that I can see that middle. And then I'm going to fold this side in to that middle point. Turn it around and do the same thing with the other side. Okay, and then decide what you want to be your bottom and what you want to be your top. I think I'll let this be the bottom. Okay, so for the bottom side, instead of folding it up right here, because then you'd have a gap and that wouldn't quite work, you want to fold it till this point is even with these two folds right here. So we're going to fold this up until that point. They all, I don't know if you can see that, but they all kind of line up right there. All right, which means this bottom part is going to have a little overlap. Now, if you want to cut that out, you can. If it gets too bulky, you can go in there and cut that out. But really, that's all you've got to do. Cut your little part here if you want that cut. Glue that down, and you've got another cute little envelope without an envelope punch board. So that's just another idea for you. One more thing I want to show you. Um, so I punched this one uh, with the envelope punch board. And because I need to fold like that to that, and there's all these different layers going in another way, to make it a little bit easier, you can score that um, carefully. 
So see these lines? I drew these black lines on here every inch just for things like this. So that is on that 7 inch black line. If I line both points up on that line and hold it, I can go to wherever I need to score. And I see those are not lined up. Let's try this side and see if it'll make a better example for you. All right, so then I can go into right about wherever I need to score and just carefully, just a little bit, because some of that's really thin and it's kind of hard to score over all that, those stitches it wants to jump. But if you can make just a little bit of a score line there, see it makes folding it so much easier. Um, if you don't have a scoreboard, you can line up a ruler next to it and you can just take any plastic anything and make that score. Okay, so I'm just gluing those down. I'm really happy with the way this came out. When you're doing this, one thing that really adds to it is if you change your colors up. I mean, if you want to stay in a neutral theme, that's fine, but use darks and lights and different shades of lights and darks and different textures, and it really makes a difference. If I used all book page that looked like that, it'd have a little something to it, but it just wouldn't have as much. You see what I'm saying? So I've, I always try to add some dark strips or something, but look how cool this came out where you got a stripe here and another here. See, <laughs> and you just don't know what's going to happen when you're putting them together. So that's pretty cool, and I like that one too. Okay, so in addition to a big mess, <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I made a bunch, 10, 11, that one I haven't glued, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 envelopes. So that was a good productive morning. And a little bonus is all these leftovers. See all these leftover pieces? So these can be tags, they can be um, cards, collage, whatever. So I kind of just straightened those, you know, the edges on most of these. So now I can play with these. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and give this a try. It's a lot of fun. See you later. Bye-bye.